Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm a heritage consultant with GML Heritage. I chose to come to GML because I found they were different from all the other consultants I'd met. Uh, they really care about the places they're looking at. They'll always go that step further to find the new research, to think of a new way to approach a problem. They, they're really sensitive about their approach to important heritage places. They'll try to make reports easy to read so that people who aren't a heritage specialist can understand what's important about a place and what they need to do to preserve it and to conserve it for the future. I actually heard of GML years ago when I was still at uni, well, only finished uni recently. GML was like the peak. Anyone studying heritage wanted to work for GML. They were the best in the business. They had the best people, the best ideas. They were doing the most interesting work and doing good work. I think there's so many aspects of Australian heritage. I mean, we've got such a rich indigenous history and a natural history and the built environment. We've got everything from Federation cottages um, and rural estates to sort of fantastic 1960s modernist architecture, uh, like Australia Square, fascinating place. Uh, my personal interest is actually, I love churches. Uh, I love that there's a sort of a sense of purpose to them and there's a sense of order. You can look at any church, they might look completely different on the outside, but they've got the same layout and they have the same significance uh, spiritually to the different communities, but seeing how that's represented and how seeing how that's been built out in different places by different people in different times. You can see the same values coming out, but seeing how people have reacted to that and responded to that, even architecturally, is fascinating and I love working on church projects, especially at a time when people are becoming less religious and churches are falling out of use, sort of seeing what the future can be for religious buildings. Half the time, the heritage listing is what's stopping them from being torn down. But I think the solution is that you get creative. You see what you can do in the different uh, instances. If it's particular elements of the built form that are protected, maybe you find a way of working around those. Maybe you bring in a new use. Um, you bring in sympathetic materials and you get experts to sort of work around what you have. So I think heritage listings can sometimes be a hindrance to churches, but I think also they can be a real help in preserving. I think heritage is relevant because, especially in Sydney, there are so many heritage buildings. When we're building up and building out, there are so many places with architectural and social value and all kinds of historic qualities. And I think the future of heritage is finding ways to utilise these spaces to make changes that are sympathetic but necessary, to make them available to the public, uh, to make them useful again, to make people interested again. I think heritage buildings were listed as a heritage item for a reason. They were important to somebody, they were important as a representative of something that was important in the past. Whether it was a historic event, whether it was a community, they had meaning. And I think the future of heritage is sort of rediscovering that importance, rediscovering what these places meant and why they should be important to us. And I think we need to find ways of communicating that to people so they can understand and feel the value of these places. And if that value has changed, I think we need to look creatively at what we can do to use these amazing spaces to make them relevant, to make them important again, and to make people feel that connection to the places that used to be important to us before.